Hello awesome people. I hope you're having an amazing day today. Today we're taking a look at Howard R. Garris's Professor Jenkins's that's a lot of a lot, a lot of apostrophes cannibal plan. Uh, so it's uh, it's a short story that's in this collection that we've been doing a deep dive into uh, evil roots and killer tales of the botanical gothic uh, that combine horror uh, classic stories with a biologic bi sorry botanical rather uh, uh, overview so these are ones that have combined you know evil aspects and so forth um, and this one you're gonna find out very early on is a picture plane um, so that's going to be sort of the the key sort of, of horror horror concept in, in this one for you folks now i've never read anything uh by this author before according to wikipedia he's one of the most prolific writers of all time and certainly one of the most prolific children's authors of all time and he's definitely somebody who was well known as a children's author he would write a short story for a for a newspaper every day for that newspaper for children and then except for sundays which he took off so that's a lot of short stories and <laughs> that, that's six short stories a week right uh, so this guy was definitely prolific in the children's genre uh, this is a horror story uh, so this is the first time i heard of him um and so i'm taking out uh, this short story for you folks in the horror genre uh and knocking it i like it i thought it was definitely well written uh but it wasn't exactly selling me right uh, so i knocked it out last night uh, while while getting ready uh, for it in the movies, getting ready for the movie theater, it took me between 15 and 20 minutes for me to knock it out last night for the first time. Uh, pro, you know, so and uh, I'm going to be giving it a seven plus. It was fine. I enjoyed it. It was paced well. It it didn't leave me wanting more. It didn't leave me not wanting enough, right? Or on the other hand, too much because it took too much description and so forth. I thought it was well paced. I thought it did well, uh, and it was nice, lovely written. Uh, but it wasn't exactly bowling me up for either. So I think a seven plus. That's you know like a seven point one or seven point three uh, that I'm running down uh, to a seven is probably fair uh, for this uh, short story and this brand new author. Uh, that I've never read before, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so, I'm, so there's my rating for it. Uh, not as a reminder, keep my reviews spoiler free, so there's not a whole lot I'm going to be able to tell you about this short story for those reasons. Um, but the R R R Ken uh, key uh, point of view character. It's a friend of this uh, scientist who loves plants and hybrid plants and hybrid fruits and those sorts of things. And he's one of his few friends that he'll see even when he's in, in a deep dive in his botanical stuff. And he has like these hybrid fruits and all these sorts of things. Um, and uh, so they start having a conversation. Mm -hmm. As our PAU character is talking to him, uh, and he introduces him to a pitcher plant, which, which he never heard of before, and feeds him uh, flies that he had captured. So he sees the pitcher plant uh, and so forth, and finds out more about it, as do us as an audience, in case you've never heard of a pitcher plant before, which by now we have, but during this time they were pretty rare. Main eating plants were also pretty rare too. Anyway, uh, so so he so he leaves. He starts uh, hearing about some strange goings on uh, that are happening at his friend's house and so he heads back to his friend's house to find out what's happening and that's about five or six pages into a 17 page short story so i'll leave you there um with the plot overview uh what happens next what happens with the pitcher plant how what uh and so forth well, let's find out by reading the story short now because i knocked this out in the theaters i read it on my cell phone so i found it online so I'm, I'll link you both this collection on Amazon in case you're interested in just reading it in print. Or I'll link you to, as well as the the version, for free in case you're interested in that. So you can have either of those two options. Uh, we've been doing a deep dive into this genre because I saw a Monstrum sub-channel of PBS on YouTube uh, that does like these little monster overviews uh, on evil plants. And, uh, and the first short story that I found that she talks about in its sort of historical deep dive uh, was sir arthur conan doyle's the american's tale which i read online and it's in this collection uh and then i found a second short story that is called the main eating truth i found online read it the third short story mentioned louise h hooper's short story was not off uh, i couldn't find it online but it is in this collection so i bought this collection and i've just been doing a deep dive in this collection ever since uh, so that's why we're doing uh, this deep dive for you folks um as a reminder uh, the name of my channel the worst thing about new books comes from the fact that uh, we, the worst thing about new books is a famous quote by jacques joubert a french philosopher who said that the worst thing about new books was that they kept us from reading the old books and short stories 
that were written in the early 20th century like this one are definitely on the older side of life. So there you are. We'll go ahead and leave you to it. Have you read uh, this short story or heard of the author? Let's talk about it more in the comments below. Let's also talk about spoilers too if you want to put spoiler tags around it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, why not hit that subscribe button? There's going to be a lot more of these to follow. And then finally, I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling and I appreciate it. So thanks again. Have an amazing day.